Let's take 25 centimeters cubed of 0.5 molar citric acid and to it add some magnesium metal. Here in total on the watch glass we've got 0.54 grams. You should be able to see that the magnesium reacts quite quickly with the citric acid releasing a colourless gas as well as some other gases and you may wish to carry this out in a fume cupboard and it will take some time to react so let's add all of the magnesium and then we'll leave it for a few hours to react and come back later After a few hours, we can see that the magnesium has reacted with all of the citric acid because there are no longer any bubbles being produced around the metal. We can show that the reaction is over by testing the pH of the mixture. And you can see that it's now around pH 7. Next thing to do is to filter off the magnesium to obtain the product in solution. Just rinse the magnesium lightly there and the filtration should be quite quick but we'll turn off the movie and come back in a few moments. Well now that the filtration is finished the last thing to do is to place the filtrate in an evaporating basin and then place that in a low temperature oven in order to remove the water and obtain some crystals of the product. And there's the product from the magnesium and citric acid reaction. You can probably see a crystalline surface, what lies underneath that, I'm not sure. And that's the product. So solid magnesium citrate.